I think you should eat what you want. We should be able to support your health so that you can eat what you want. Um, not necessarily like eating, you know, but if you're like a healthy whole foods eater, if you want to eat plants versus animals or eggs or, you know, you should be able to eat these things. And I feel like your digestion should be healthy enough to support your diet, not the other way around that you have to be so restrictive. Um, and so I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. I think people can have healthy diets with other choice, but I've seen that when women tend to lean towards like a plant full, like a vegetarian or a vegan diet, they have a little bit harder time with starting HRT just because they get more bloated. And I think this is the, this, this is about a gallbladder functioning less when you have uh, bacteria that's in the small intestine that should be there. We call it small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And this is because the gallbladder is not releasing enough bile and bile kills this bacteria in the small intestine. It's not supposed to be there. And when you look at man, a purely like a meat eater that doesn't eat a lot of plants, um, they don't have as much of that bloating issue. And it's it's a lot of it's like the different types of fiber. We think we tend to think of fiber being in, and I know this is a little bit off topic. This is really, I think, important people just kind of start thinking about this, that when we think of fiber, we think of plants, right? Like seeds and plants and nuts and soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. But meat fiber is fiber. <laughs> like the tissue within the meat is actually made up of the, 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 the small branch fatty acids and the medium chain fatty acids that bacteria need to thrive and grow. Meat eaters like get plenty of fiber. Like that's what they're like, people don't tend to think of that way, but that's the actual food that we need in order to get the bacteria that's supposed to thrive in um, the gut to grow. So meat eaters don't actually have, and fiber just makes more poop. Like when you eat more plants, you just poop more. Like it doesn't like, it, it's, right? it's just all it does is like bulk it up. Um, and so, and there's a lot of, you know, so a lot of physicians will promote like, you know, having more than one bowel movement a day and all this. And I just find that, I mean, it's again, meat eaters don't have as much, tend to have as much bloating and the gallbladder seems to be um, like responding and eliminating bile. The choline is really, really important for the gallbladder to function. And women have this like ability, this like superpower where they actually have a gene that allows them to make choline. We can synthesize choline. Choline is like this really important, like essential nutrient for the brain and the gallbladder and all these functions in the body. And we have the ability to make it because we have babies. And it's so important for uh, brain development in the fetus that during pregnancy, estrogen stimulates this gene, like estrogen turns the gene on so that we can make choline so that the baby has it. So that if, even if there's like a food shortage, shortage or like a woman doesn't have eggs because egg yolks is like the primary source for choline and then fat like meat. And so if she's, you know, maybe our ancestors, if they went a period of time without meat and eggs, you know, then she could make choline for the pregnancy. And so this is like, obviously a, a protective mechanism that the body has. Um, but when she goes through perimenopause and there's no more estrogen, she can't stimulate the gene that makes the choline in order to just stimulate the gallbladder. And she develops these like intestinal problems and it's a choline deficiency. And we're told that eggs are bad, right? So now we're making everybody un more unhealthy. So you know, and so there's this eggs are unhealthy because they have cholesterol. And I guess now the FDA says they're not, but you know, this is, um, so women who have eggs and meat in their diet, um, tend to do better, like I would say.